Welcome back, my friends. I'm so excited you decided to join me on this lovely spring day here in our beautiful city of Winnipeg. As you may remember, I'm the mayor's assistant, Nisa, and I help the mayor lead our city and make sure I help all the citizens who live here. I can't wait to show you around today and introduce you to some more of our everyday heroes who make this city amazing. Let's look at our map and I'll show you a few more of my favorite places in our city. If you remember the star on the map, tells us where we are. If you see the star, point to it. Yes, we're right here in the park. This cute cozy house right here is, well, that's the mayor's house. Oh, and her favorite donut shop is right here. Do you see why the donut shop is her favorite? Yes, yes, she lives right beside it. Who can resist the most tempting smells of fresh donuts? Oh, not me. Well, enough of that silliness. There are so many exciting things to see and do around our city. But of course, the best part is the people you will meet. Would all of you like to explore some more of the city with me and meet some of the people who live and work here? Yeah! Yeah, fantastic! Before we hop on the bus and go exploring, you need to know our three city rules. Let me see all of you hold up one finger, because rule number one is to have fun. Good job. Now rule number two is we sing our songs really loud and dance around. And number three, we learn more by having good listening ears when it's story time. Today, we're going to visit our city's post office. It's over here. Let's see if you can figure out who we're going to meet at the post office. These are some of our everyday heroes in our city. The doctor is a hero who works at the hospital and at the doctor's office. The firefighter is a hero who works at the fire station. The mailman is a hero who gets important mail from the post office and delivers it to our citizens. So which one of these do you think we'll see at the post office? That's right! The post office is where all the important mail and packages are sorted and then delivered out to our citizens. Let's hop on the city bus to go and meet a mailman. Everyone, roll your arms around like the wheels on the bus and sing with me. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town, all through the town, all through the town. Hello everyone, my name is Marcus and I'm a mailman here in our city. My job is to pick up and deliver the mail to the citizens. There are special pieces of armor that I use in my job every day. My uniform tells everyone I work for the post office so the citizens trust me. I also wear good shoes that help me as I walk to each and every mailbox downtown. But there's an invisible armor that I wear every day and it's more powerful than anything else. It's called the armor of God. The shoes I wear to deliver mail are helpful, but I don't walk anywhere without putting on my good news boots from God's armor. They help me have the courage to tell others about God's love everywhere I go. There's a verse from the Bible that helps me remember to put on the good news boots and all of God's armor every day. Let me hear you say it after me. Put on all. Put on all. Of God's. Of God's. Armor. Armor. Ephesians 6.11. Ephesians 6.11. That's it! Here in the city, we sing a song to help us remember all the pieces of God's armor that we need to put on every day. Stand up and sing it now! The armor of God fits good on me It makes me strong as I can be I can stand against the enemy Cause the armor of God fits good on me Put on the belt of truth my good news boots, getting dressed and ready to go. 
shield of faith, the soul I raise, God's word is what I know. With all my might, I'll do what's right with the armor of godliness. My helmet's on, my salvation, now I can stand strong and pray. Cause the armor of God fits good on me, it makes me strong as I can. Great job singing that song. Go ahead and take a seat. One of my favorite pieces of the armor of God is the sword of the spirit. The Bible is the sword of the spirit. Would you like to hear a story from the Bible? Yes! Great! Let's all get ready for the story by clicking on our listening ears. Click, click. click. Now let's put on our special eyes. Zoop, zoop. zoop. Long ago, God wanted to show us how much He loves us, so He sent His Son, Jesus, to die on a cross. Jesus didn't do anything wrong, but He died so that you and I could be forgiven and live in heaven with Him forever one day. After Jesus had been dead three days, He came back to life. Let's clap for this good news. Great job. After Jesus came back to life, He told His friends to meet Him up on a mountain. Let me see all of you pretend to climb a mountain like Jesus' friends. That's it! When they met Jesus on the mountain, He told them to tell everyone the good news about God's love for them. They didn't need to be scared or nervous to share this good news because Jesus said that He would be with them. Even though this would be hard work, Jesus' friends put on their good news boots and went all over the world telling people the good news of God's love. Let me see you move your arms like you are walking to share the good news. Perfect! God's love is good news that we can't keep to ourselves. We can put on our good news boots and share this good news with everyone. Every time we put on God's armor, we have the power to be an everyday hero. When we put on the good news boots, we will be full of courage and ready to go share the good news of His love with everyone. So let me hear you say this after me. Put on, put on, the good news boots. The good news boots. You've got it. When you put on God's armor and pray, you'll be strong enough to stand up to any evil that comes your way. Thanks, Mailman Marcus. He's right. All the citizens in our city can share the good news of God's love with everyone they meet when they put on their good news boots. Let's say our Armor of God prayer together. Dear God, help us to remember to put on our Armor of God so that we can stand strong against any lies or tricks. We know that you love us and that you'll help us no matter what. Amen. Wow. I don't know about you, but I learned a lot today. God's armor helps us all to stand strong and not give up when things seem too hard to do. There's a song we sing to help us remember not to give up. So let's all stand up and sing it together.
great singing and dancing. Before I go, I want to wish some of our friends a happy birthday. So happy birthday to Kanashi and Owen. I hope you have a special day. Well, it's time for me to go, but I can't wait to see you again soon. Bye.